Hey everybody, this is Sam and welcome back to level one pre-production. This is going to be lesson eight and we're going to be focusing on diatonic chords. But first, just a quick lesson overview. After this lesson, we're going to know how triads work within a given key signature and what are diatonic chords. So what are diatonic chords? Well, diatonic chords are going to be chords that naturally occur in a given key signature. Another way to say that is we're only using notes from that specific key signature or that key. Another way to think about this is if we're in C major, like this, we're only going to be using the C major scale. So we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, as we're used to, and here are our scale degrees underneath, but we're not seeing any sharps and flats. So we're using the entire musical alphabet, but we're just following the amount of sharps and or flats that will be in a given key signature, okay? So a good question is, how do we actually get there? Again, this is a good thing to just write down from the beginning so that you can easily transfer it into a DAW or get comfortable playing it. But this stuff is really, really simple. It's not hard. Just follow these steps. So the first step is gonna be write down the musical alphabet starting on the desired key. So in this case, we're gonna be using D major, but we're gonna do D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Again, we're gonna follow the original idea for finding key signatures with sharps in it. And we know that it's a sharp because there's no flat on D. The next step is, is we're gonna write down all the thirds, starting with the one chord or the first scale degree, okay? An easy way to find the thirds is we've got our one here. If we just count three, one, well, one, two, and three, and then there's your F. And then from there, we can literally just write out the alphabet. Now I wanna say, again, it's just an easy way to remember it is just count it out in your hand. So we've got D, E, F, there it is, nailed it. Let's remember that for the, the next step. And that third step will be to write down all of the fifths. And in this case, it's going to be A. Again, we can count on our fingers, but, in, but I'd like to think of it as, now we're starting to actually use the scale degrees a little bit as a reference. So just find that five, there's the A, we know that's a fifth. Just start there and then just write out the alphabet. So step four is going to be, now we need to add the amount of sharps or flats required by the key. In this case, D major doesn't have any flats because it would be D flat major. So we then find the leading tone, which is C here. And then we add everything up to C in the sharps. So it'd be F and C, okay? So every F and every C should be sharp. And that's what we've added here. Very quick lesson, but very, very powerful. Please rewatch this a few times and reference how to find key signatures for sharps as well, and you'll have this in literally no time. That's it. That allows you to not only figure out the scale, the key signatures, but every major and minor triad that go along with that. And that brings us to questions to think on. What are diatonic chord qualities? And what are chord progressions? Great. So really looking forward to the next lesson. Good job on this one.